Detroit teachers are airing their frustration this afternoon since learning that the district might not be able to pay them past June 30th. That story does top our news at noon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Everod Kasimi. Teachers aren't the only ones frustrated. Their mass sick out has closed nearly the entire school district, forcing families of DPS students to scramble and find child care. Our guy Gordon is joining us live now outside the Fisher Building here in downtown Detroit. And guy, the transition manager, Stephen Rose, just spoke from what I understand. And has he really given the teachers any reason to believe they'll be paid after June? Not unless the legislature does something and does it quick, Avrod. Here is the, the, the shakedown by the numbers. 1,562 teachers called in sick today. That's roughly 50% of the workforce. 94 schools shut down. 45,000 plus kids not getting an education today. Now, these teachers are not surprised that their district could run out of money June 30th. What surprised them is they thought that those teachers, the vast majority, that draw paychecks in the months of July and August will not be getting paid, even though they claimed they were assured they would be. We were assured that they were going we to be covered. We were assured that they were going to be covered. So I don't know if it was a miscalculation. I don't know what happened. But it, it, it's, once again, we're the ones thrown up under the bus. If the money runs out June 30th, teachers who were supposed to be paid over the summer would lose five pay periods. Payment for about 36 days of instruction. There are only 35 days left in the school year, technically meaning as of today. They'd be working for free. My bills don't get paid. Um, I have loans. You know, they'll take my car. Rhodes says he understands and shares their pain, but that he doesn't recall making any promises that teachers drawing summer paychecks would be paid. Today marks the seventh day of instruction lost this year to weather or sick outs, and the district could be forced to repay two million to the state as a result. And we'll never get that back. The loss of these funds does nothing to help the district address the serious issues that we have all been working to address, including student teacher ratios and smaller class sizes. Now, beyond the teacher pay, which is obviously a big concern here, these teachers are also concerned that the fact that the district will shut down June 30th. No summer school, no special ed, no lunches for kids that would normally get them. And that will happen unless the legislature asks. They are all calling on the state house to get behind this $755 million deficit elimination, debt elimination bill that's now being held up in the in the uh, state house. But the House Speaker today condemned this action, saying that there have been now one million hours of instruction left due to sick counts. We're live from West Grand Boulevard, which is now back open. It was shut down for a time. I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4. Back to you, Everett. And Guy, I know that a lot of parents, a lot of people in general, really wondering what's going to happen tomorrow. As of this moment, and this is after talking to both Ivy Bailey and Ann Mitchell, two of the uh, district uh, union representatives, and these teachers, they say they expect to be back in the classroom tomorrow, that this was a one-day sick out to make the point that they need that summer pay. Beyond that, they expect to be in the classroom, even though they say technically they'll be working for free. And you really do feel for them. Obviously, a story that we're going to continue to follow. A guy, report, guy going to reporting live for us this afternoon. Guy, thank you.